Okay, so I'm going to be changing an occupied bed today. Um, this is my patient. So I feel like this pillow is my patient. And so what I do first is I come in, I bring my new linens in. I do proper hand hygiene first. I bring in my new linens and set them on um, a new clean chair. Make sure that the chair is clean. And uh, according to my policies, depending on the policies of my workplace, I would um, maybe ask their first and last name, their birth date, and check their wristband to make sure this is the right patient. And um, just to make sure they're in the right room. Good things happen. So, then um, I would start to tell my patient what I'm going to be doing today and proceed. So, first, I'd lower the bed, I mean, sorry, I'd raise the bed to a comfortable working position and I'd put the head back and I'd tell my patient, is it okay if you lay flat? And then um, I'd take the bed rails down and then I'd start. So first you want to take the bed spread off and you want to make it into a square almost or a rectangle and I'd put it on the clean chair. If it was soiled, I would dispose of it. So then I'm going to take a clean bath blanket and I'm going to put it over my patient. But I would fold it, just making sure that we don't get exposed. And then um, I would ask them to hold the corner or tuck them under their shoulders. And then I would take their blanket out and I would roll it. And then I would dispose of these linens into the linen basket. So I'm going to ask if it's over here. Okay, so now that my patient, now that my patient has the, his bath blanket on, I'm going to ask him to roll towards the other rail. So if he's in tilt, um, I would encourage him to use the rail to pull himself to roll. So now he's going to roll this way, and then we position the pillow under so they're comfortable. So hopefully that stays right there. And then what I do is I take the bed linens, the thin sheet, and I'd start to, from the from the head of the bed, I would start to unfold it. And I'd roll it under. I'm gonna roll it and tuck it under my pages, but off. And make sure. Then, um, what I would do is I'd use proper hand hygiene, and I'd, um, then I would take, um, a, a wipe, a disinfectant wipe, and I'd wipe the bed, making sure that I disinfected it, the whole pad, I'd wipe it all, and then I'd make sure it's dry, and I take my new linens, so here's my new fitted sheet, and I start to put that on. And I unfold it. Okay. So then, what I do is I Start at the top and I fold it under. Fold it all under. Tuck it under. Because this is fitted, it doesn't show, but um, in some instances you do a miter corner. So you would fold it and then you take it into a triangle and then you tuck under and then take that folded triangle and fold that under also and keep folding throughout the whole um, length of the bed. So then what you want to do is do the same with this one. You want to roll it under the patient's buttocks. And then 
um, you put a waterproof pad right here, and then I would fold it and put it under the patient's buttocks once they get. So then, once that side is done, I'm going to ask the patient to roll over to the other side of the bed. I'm going to put the rail up, and, um, and then I'm going to let him know that he is going to be rolling over a lump because all the linens are right there under him. So I'm going to help him roll over. Roll this way, and then I position the pillow back under. And then on the other side, I lower the rails, and then I would, in a ball, going from the head <coughs> of the bed, I'd untuck the sheets and roll it into a ball, and I'd take these linens and I would dispose of them. So now that my dirty linens are off and they're dip disposed of, I would um, practice proper hand hygiene. Then I would proceed from the head of the bed and do the same on this side. So I'd tuck in my corners, depending on what kind of sheets, I'd do a lighter corner. Okay, so now that my sheets are on, my linens, I have my waterproof pad, um, I'm going to help my patient roll back into position. So I help him roll back and I put the pillow, put the, back sh the bath blanket back on, and then I would take my linens. So then I would take my new linens and I would unfold them on my patient like this and I would position them like this and then I would have my patient hold top of these sheets, the linens, or tuck them under his shoulders, and then I would take his bath blanket off. And then with this bath blanket, I would dispose of into the linen basket. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm going to take the bedspread, or the blanket, and I'm going to unfold it, take it off the clean chair, I'm going to unfold it. On my patient. I think this is the way I have it. So, my blanket. I'd make sure it was parallel to the sheets. Okay. Then, what you want to do is you want to fold down this blanket and you want to fold the sheet under it over top of it and make a fold but the patient is under that fold just like that then you're going to want to take the bottom of the bed blanket sorry okay then you want to you're going to want to take the feet of the bed you're going to want to tuck under the blanket and the sheet the top sheet Tuck it under, and you're going to want to do a modified miter um, fold. So you can take this triangle and put it up there, and you would fold under this and let this hang. And you do the same on this side. So, once you're done with that, you're going to want to tell your patient, I'm going to take your pillow and change the pillowcase. So you take the pillow with one hand, a firm grip, take off this, put this into the dirty linen basket. Then what you do with the pillow is you're going to want to put, you're going to want to set this on a clean chair and then take your pillowcase, you go in with one hand to the corner 
turn it inside out. Okay. And the inside out, you hold it with both hands. You pick up the pillow. And you put the pillow on my skin. And you're going to want to fix the edges, making sure that you don't bite it with your teeth or put it under your chin. And then you're going to want to put it under your patient's head. Alright. Okay, and so there's your bed. You want to make sure you get all your linens, put them in the linen basket, and rearrange his room how it was. Make sure they know if they need any help. Um, they can press the call button, most likely, um, and just make sure that their room is all back to where it was. Okay, thank you.